Okay, thank you for introducing me. I'm Binakong from Chang University, and okay, I, I want to talk about the Inest Optimal Communication by a generalized pain shift key coil signal, which is in general joint work with Jong-san Kim and published in Physical Review in 2022. But before presentation, actually, I am not a uh, that, uh, native speaker, so please forgive me if sometimes I murmur during the presentation. <laughs> the outline of this presentation. First of all, I'd like to talk about the pen shift kit or uh, PSK coherence state communication. And then I'd like to introduce the generalized coherent state, which would be the generalized version of the coherent state. Okay, so uh, based on this notion, I'd like to talk about the, or discuss the compound communication with generalized PSK or the GPSK and give some result about the research of our presentation. Finally, I'd like to give some... Oh. Uh, wait a second, please. Mm -hmm. There has been some problems with the, the uh, this device for the conference, so it might be best just to use the... Okay, thank you. Okay, let me... Uh, okay, uh, is it okay? Okay, thank you. So, okay, let me uh, conclude this uh, presentation. Uh, not now, uh, after the uh, almost 30 or 40 minutes, and give some future work about the research. Okay. So, let's start with the PSK coherence state communication. Okay. In the optical or the coherence state communication proposed in several works, there are four steps <coughs> including message preparation, encoding, measurement, and decision. So in this scenario, uh, it is assumed that Alice prepares a message which is denoted by x in the set 0 to the n minus 1 with some prime probability and encodes it into a left signal whose state is given by the ground burst system coherent state. If Alice sends the right signal to Bob, and that Bob performs the measurement on the right signal, which is described as the POBM. So as to this, uh, decide which message was prepared by Alice. So for example, if Bob obtains an outcome, Y, which is also the, in the set, uh, in set zero to N minus one, <coughs> then Bob would infer that Alice have prepared the message Y, uh, which should be either equal to x or not. Okay, so, okay, let me talk about the right signal in this case. So that's because the state of the right signal is the important thing in this presentation and related to research. Okay, so, uh, as I told you before, the in current state communication, the state of the uh, left signal is described as the Dragos-Sudas in current state, which it takes the form as follows. Here, uh, let me introduce more. Okay, uh, n means the total number basis, and alpha <coughs> x is the uh, complex number in general. So this means that uh, uh, basically the Poisson step, uh, the statistics of the uh, photon from the light signal is given by the Poissonian uh, distribution. So okay, so hmm, by using the GSCS. Uh, which is the global system current state, the equiprobable and phase shifting king signal can be described as the ensemble or the set if uh, zero net, which includes the, some coherent states where the alpha x has some specific form uh, dependent on the message x, and alpha is given by some uh, positive real number. So, okay, also I'd like to tell you that uh, encoding can be also described as a mapping from a uh, message x to the corresponding uh, coherent state alpha x in epsilon n. Okay. So uh, let me recall the POBM for describing the measurement of the bar, so we, which includes the n elements that is find both positive and definiteness and a uh, completeness condition. Okay, so. Uh, based on the notion of the POVM and the ensemble describing the phase shift king signal, 
So uh, at the, the success probability of the communication is uh, described as that is, uh, I direct note that uh, one over n means that uh, each x of each x is prepared by l with equal prior probability. So that is why n one over n is multiplied to this summation. So also I can describe the error probability as the complementary one of the success probability as follows. So, so the one of the main purpose in the coherent state communication would be expressed as the optimal pro uh, optimization problem, which minimizes the error probability over all possible POV and satisfying both positivity and completeness conditions. That is why, so low error probability implies the high accuracy of the communication between errors and bug. So, uh, furthermore, I'd like to tell you that coherent states in the ensemble epsilon n are not also one to each other. This means that finding the optimal measurement for minimizing the error probability is non-trivial that is because the error, minimum value of the error probability cannot be a, a zero value. Okay. So, okay, let's discuss about the optimal coherent state communication in the aspect of error probability. Uh, firstly, I going to invoke our definition one, which was proposed in 1998 by Chappell and Barnett. So, for a, for a possible interior n, which should be the size of the set of the messages, the distinct pure states, uh, psi zero to psi n minus r one, are called a symmetric if they are exist a unitary operator that is sign this relation for any x which would be zero to n minus one. So here I like to emphasize that V is the unitary operator that is buying uh, this relation. So the reason for uh, invoking this definition uh, is that by assuming the a symmetry of the pure state, we can uh, we can derive or evaluate the minimum error probability in the analytical way, uh, according to the proportion one. So that epsilon be a uh, equiprobable ensemble of n symmetric pure state, psi zero to psi n minus one. Now, uh, uh, there is one question that it does not include n, which means that this is not the PSK signal. So this is a uh, 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 this is uh, another thing of, uh, of uh, describing symmetric pure state. Uh, so then the minimum error probability is analytically derived as follows. Where the lambda p are the eigenvalues of the ground matrix composed of these symmetric pure states <laughs> psi, zero to, psi zero to psi and minus one, and which is given by uh, this expression. So. Uh, so, I'd like to use the proportion one in order, in order to uh, evaluate the minimum error probability of the PSK signal, which is described as the epsilon n. So, uh, so to use the proportion one, so we need to show that GSCS in epsilon n are symmetric. Uh, so, okay, let's prove this, but it's not difficult for proving. So. First of all, let us consider the unitary operator, UN, which is the, given by the exponential of some uh, operator, which is the also Hamiltonian. So uh, here, A and A dagger are a direction and creation operators satisfying these three relations. Uh, so reason for the A is for the annihilation is that it transforms the Photon number basis and to the n minus one, which means that uh, one photon is annihilated from the signal. So likewise, a dagger is called creation operator. That is because so n is a uh, uh, photon number basis n is transformed to the n plus one, which means the creation of the one photon in the right signal. I'd like to tell one more thing that a dagger times the a is so called photon number operator, that is because it has an eigenvalue uh, which, uh, uh, eigenvalue which is given by the photon number. So that is why the A dagger A is the 
total number of operator and the expectation value evaluated from this operator uh, means the big number. Um, so just a question. Okay. This Hamiltonian is what's happening to the system after you've encoded and before you've measured, right? Uh, uh, yes, that is a good question. Actually, uh, this unit operator can be considered in encoding a signal. Okay. So, uh, the, the reason, for, reason for considering this unitary operator to, is to show that every coherent state in the instrument end is symmetric to each other. So that is why I just uh, record the unitary operator. So, uh, if we use the unitary operator, is it, it is easy to show that the n time multiplication of the un is equal to i, and also it is also to straightforwardly show that alpha x is uh, described as like this for every x in zero to n minus one. So this is all the. Uh, uh, straightforward calculation. So by uh, showing these two uh, proportions, I can show that, so uh, I can show that alpha x in epsilon n, describing the phase shift to king signals um, are symmetric. So this means that uh, we can use the proportion one in order to uh, derive or evaluate the minimum error probability of the PSK coherent communication uh, in the analytical manner. So uh, that means that we can obtain the theorem one. So the minimum error probability of the PSK signal uh, is analytically given by like this, <coughs> where the parameter lambda p over COH takes the form of this infinite series, which, is, which can be calculated from the ground matrix. It uh, consists of the um, coherent uh, trouble stuff and coherent states. So until now, uh, I have considered the KFK coherent state communication, where the coherent state, uh, where the KFK signal composed of coherent state is used in here. So from now, I would like to talk about the generalized coherent state in order to consider the quantum communication using this kind of coherent state. Okay. Okay, let me recur the definition of, or let me recur the expression of the GSCS first. So, uh, this is the uh, expression of the GSCS and it has three properties. First one, uh, it is normalized, it, and it, it is easily shown by just uh, performing the inner product to itself. And the second one is that the main proper number of the GSTS is given by the square of the alpha. And the last thing is so called the resolution of the identity or the over completeness of the current state, which means that the integration of all alpha in the complex number is, pro is proportional to the i. Uh, this is so-called uh, risk resolution of the identity. So, okay, uh, before, uh, before going to the next slide, I'd like to focus on this part colored in red, uh, which would be uh, generalized to a certain function, which is is defined in the definition two, and by explaining definition two, I'd like to talk about the generalized coherent state, or GCS. Okay, so let us consider a pure state, which takes the form as follows, where HN is a function, uh, function from a region zero to R square <coughs> to any number, any real number in. So HN co uh, cons composes the tuple, uh, tuple H bar, then if every HN in the tuple H satisfies these three conditions, then so alpha comma H tuple is so-called a generalized coherent state. So let me uh, explain each three conditions. The condition one means the uh, 
con uh, condition means the normalization of this state, and condition two means that uh, mean the number of the GCS <laughs> is one to one correspondence with the parameter u. So, so condition three means that uh, the resolution of identity of the uh, generalized quantum state can be satisfied. Okay, so. Sorry, what is W? Ah, so this W, in, w is the function uh, which, for, which goes from the recent zero transcure to the positive real number. So, is any function? Uh, no, no. Uh, it means that, uh, uh, so, con okay, the condition means that uh, for, uh, there, so, okay, for a uh, given HN, there exists a W. Satisfying this integration equality, uh, in, sorry, not <coughs> equality, the equality, okay. Uh, okay, so, so uh, based on this <coughs> definition too, uh, let me introduce some kind of the generalized coherent state. The first one is the optical spin coherent state, or what's yes. Here, Hn is given by the like this, if the n, total number n is less than or equal to the tilde n, it should be a uh, non-negative uh, integer number. And hn would be zero if n is more than the tilde n. So uh, in this case, the GCS is so-called OSCS. The second example is the parallel coherent state, which takes the form, where the Zeta is a parameter for controlling the form of the parallel coherent state, and this is uh, more than one half. The third one is the Banut Girardot Delgo coherent state or BGCS. So, okay, uh, here the each HN is given by the like this, where the gamma is the gamma function, and I under nu is the modified Bessel function of the first kind. Okay, the last thing is the modified sustained global coherent state, uh, which is uh, also the MSGCS. Oh, please for, please uh, be cautious that this is not the ingredient. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. Uh. Okay, so okay. HN uh, is the given by like this, uh, according to the modified just in the global current state, where JN is the Bessel function of the first kind. Okay, so uh, until now, I have considered four kinds of the uh, generalized coherent state. Okay, so I'd like to tell you one more important thing about the classification of the generalized coherent state. The first thing is the super Poissonian, which means that the square of the square of the standard deviation of total number is more than the mean total number. In this case, the uh, coherent state is so called super Poissonian. Uh, for example, so uh, the PCS I told you of the before is the super Poissonian. <coughs> Second thing is the Poissonian, which means that the standard deviation and uh, square of the standard deviation of the total number is equal to uh, the mean total number. So, in this, uh, for example, Bravo's the quantum state, which is used for the quantum state communication, is uh, Poissonian. Finally, uh, I'd like to tell you the sub Poissonian, which means the Square of the standard deviation of the total number is less than the uh, mean total number. For example, OSCS, BGCS, and MSGCS are the sub Poissonians. The reason for classifying these four of uh, five kinds of the coherent state by the Poissonianity is that it can be related to the uh, ability of the communication in the aspect of the error probability. So, okay, so let me discuss the quantum communication uh, using the generalized PSK or GPSK, which means that uh, PSK is composed of the generalized coherent state. 
Uh, okay, so uh, let me recall the generalized coherent state. Uh, so it, since it can be used for the signal, so I include the under index x, which means the message. So okay, so based on the notion of the generalized coherent state, uh, I can also uh, describe the Ikki probable and generalized phase shift king signal, uh, which, which is the GPSK, and describe that the following ensemble or the vector composed of the generalized coherent state, where the alpha x has a uh, specific value, uh, where the pace is determined, determined by the max message x, and alpha is a non negative, a positive real number. So also, I direct to describe that encoding can be described as the mapping from x to a corresponding generalized coherent state in the uh, generalized uh, quantum communication using GPSK signal. Uh, okay, so so since uh, I have uh, defined the ensemble for the GPSK signal, uh, we need we also need to show that. But every GCS in this ensemble are also symmetric. Uh, so, so I'd like to recall the UN uh, defined in the previous slide. So by using, so it is, uh, we, we already know that the anti multiplication of the UN is equal to the identity operator. And the remainder is to show that for every X, Alpha x can be expressed in terms of u n and alpha zero uh, by this relation. So it can be also straightforwardly uh, showed, uh, showed as follows. So because of that, we can also use the proportion one to <coughs> derive the minimum error probability of the GPSK signal according to the theorem one, and which is analytically described as uh, like this, and lambda p g is also uh, derived by the uh, gram matrix composed of uh, generalized PSK uh, signals. Okay. Uh, so from now, uh, I, I want to talk about the research of, of the presentation, so let me uh, slow down a little bit. Uh, okay. So, Firstly, I'd like to tell you the, some previous works. Okay, first one is about the equiprobable on of king signal, which means that, for example, in the coherent state communication, if Alice wants to send zero bit to Bob, then uh, alpha zero is given by zero, which means that there is no photon inside the signal. And if Alice wants to send one bit to a Bob, then the alpha one is non-zero and it would be the positive real number. This means that a signal corresponding to a one bit is uh, has uh, more than one photon. So that is why it is so called on a king signal. Uh, likewise, I'd like to talk about the tilde epsilon OK, which is the OK signal composed of generalized coherent signal, object generalized coherent state, and which is also uh, described as follows in, in the analogous of the epsilon OK. So, in the previous work proposed in the uh, 2021 in Josabi, uh, it, 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 uh, it is shown that OSCS, BGCS, MS, MSGCS, in case of these three coherent states, the minimum error probability can be lower than the OK signal composed of the Gravus and coherent state. Meanwhile, the in case of the parallel of coherent state, uh, it is shown that the minimum error probability of the parallel of coherent state is the is larger than that of the uh, coherent uh, and coherent state. Okay, so the other case is the binary PSK signal or the BPSK signal, which means that the number of the coherent state composing the PSK signal is just two. So in this case, uh, with, in case of OSCS, BGCS, and MSGCS, the minimum error probability can be lower than the case of the 
uh, drug with certain current state. The meanwhile, the in case of PS, the east minimum error probability is larger than the uh, case of drug with certain current state. So uh, I've talked about the previous work, so uh, I'd like to tell you the meaning. So uh, in case of the OK and BPSK signal, which was proved, which was investigated by the previous works, so it is it can be understood that the sub personality can enhance the quantum term communication in the aspect of the minimum error probability or the accuracy of the quantum communication. Uh, that is because, as I uh, clarified, so. OSCS, BGS, MSGCS are sub Poissonian. Meanwhile, the PCS is the super Poissonian. So, same as this. So, this is why it, it could be understood that uh, sub Poissonianity can be used for enhancing the quantum communication when the OK or BPSK signal is <coughs> used to transmit some message. So, uh, I'd like to, I, I wanted to investigate the, like this, so can the sub technique also can be, in, can enhance the quantum communication in case of the NPSK for arbitrary uh, or more, more, and which is more than two. So, and the answer was no. So this is, this means that in some cases, uh, the sub-personality, uh, in sometimes sub-personality is not useful for the quantum communication. So uh, I will tell you uh, the detail of the result. Okay, this from this uh, is the our result of the uh, research. Okay. Uh, okay, let me talk about the case of the OSSDS case with n is equal to a, which means that n is dense um, log two of two of the eight uh, bits per uh, signal pulse, and so, so here the x x axis means the b photon number included in the right signal, and y axis means the minimum error probability. Okay, uh, you can see lots of graphs in here, so. Uh, Okay, I can tell you like this. So the solid black line means the error prob minimum error probability of the uh, drug system coherent state, and the other colored lines means the um, minimum error probability of the optical spin coherent state with different parameters tilde n. So uh, according to this graph, the minimum error probability of the optical spin coherent state is uh, larger than the that of the ground stress of current state. Uh, this means that the if so uh, sub plasonianity included in the optical spin current state cannot be used for enhancing the quantum communication in the aspect of the accuracy in when the n is equal to a. So we can observe this phenomena in the other case where the MSGCS is used for encoding a signal. So here, the solid black line is the minimum error probability uh, of the GSGS, and red, red line is that of the MSGCS. And you can see in this picture that the minimum error probability uh, of the MSGCS is larger than that of the ground stress of world state. Uh, this means that if we use the MSGCS, uh, the minimum error probability cannot be enhanced by the uh, sub personality for the uh, enhancing uh, quantum communication. So, I'd like to tell you one more thing. Uh, okay, so we have two graphs in this slide. So, left thing is the minimum error probability for the BGCS, the right thing is the minimum error probability for PCS, which means parallel of coherent state. So in this case, we can observe that the, sort, the other colored lines are up to, are up to this uh, solid black line, which means that the uh, Baruch-Girard-Lero coherent state 
cannot be used up. Okay, subpersonality인 바로 지랄렐로 coherent state cannot be used for enhancing the quantum communication uh, in the aspect of the uh, accuracy. Uh, meanwhile, in, in the left, left side, we can see that by using the parallel of coherent state, uh, we can observe that the minimum error probability can be lowered more than the uh, coherent state case, gradual just and coherent state. Uh, this also means that even though the PCS has, is the super Poissonian, so it can be used for enhancing the quantum communication. So this, so the our graphs in, uh, proposed in this means that uh, even though uh, on a scheme and BCFK signal-based communication can be enhanced by uh, subpersonia, but it cannot enhance the quantum communication using the uh, NTSK signal where the N is not equal to two. Okay, so let me summarize uh, by giving some conclusion and I'd like to discuss some features about uh, research. Okay, so, okay, in this uh, research or presentation, we have analytically provided the minimum error probability of the quantum communication using the NGPSK signal, uh, which is the PSK signal composed of the generalized coherent state. And unlike the binary case, uh, we could observe that this is the case that the quantum communication can be enhanced by the superpersonia. So this is the, the this is the different aspect from the binary case or the on king signal case. And so, so there are lots of uh, results uh, related to this conclusion. So in this uh, published paper, you can see in detail about the, our core. Uh, Core research. Finally, I'd like to talk about the future work related to our research. First of all, so it's like this. So we could optimize the error probability, which means that we could obtain the uh, mathematical form of the POBN, achieving the minimum error probability. But it is not known how to uh, how to achieve the minimum error probability uh, probability by using the, the optical device or some optical um, optical phenomena. So, so this is the future work to design uh, optimal measurement for implementing the minimum error probability by using some uh, optical devices and so on. So uh, the other thing is that I just considered the uh, ideal, uh, ideal quantum channel between LSD and BAP but in practical communication, uh, some noise can be occurred. For example, uh, photon noise, thermal noise, or phase diffusion noise can be occurred in can be occurred in the quantum channel. So, so it would be another feature work to check the enhancement of quantum communication under such the noise or the combination of these noises. Mm. The other thing would be uh, I just considered the PSK signal because of the uh, symmetric property, uh, but there are lots of signals so, such as ASK or uh, PPM, uh, which is the first portion modulation. So, considering the other kinds of light signal or the other signals, including unambiguous discrimination or the maximal confidence, and so on, would be the another interesting feature for me. But finally, uh, I I talked about the enhancement of the quantum communication in the aspect of the accuracy, but the, uh, there are another aspects such as uh, mutual information or the uh, mutual information or the channel capacity and so on. So uh, investigating the enhancement of the communication in the another aspect would be the another kind of the future. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I wanted to ask you about uh, the experimental uh, accessibility of these encodings. Uh, so the user coherent states are relatively easy to implement. 
right? Um, and what about the other uh, generalized coherence based on two dimensions? Are they easy to realize in the level of the uh, yes, thank you for a very good question. So, uh, uh, it is known that uh, it, is, it is easy to implement the coherent state by using laser and it can be manipulated by the, some linear optical device, but uh, actually uh, I don't know whether the implementing the generalized coherent state in the experiment or the lab would be easy or can be well uh, manipulated for it, but I think it would be the one of the um, important problem for designing the practical quantum communication. So uh, thank you for the comment, uh, Christian. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, hello, please. Um, what what would be the advantage of classical communication? Ah, okay, that is very good question. So in classical communication, so okay. Mm. Let me tell you like this. In, communi in classical communication, a coherent, coherent state is used, and homodyne measurement or on-off measurement is used for deciding the message. But, so, by using the measurement, um, measurement, of, um, measurement which, is, um, which can be allowed for the quantum theory, the error probability can be lower than the error probability of the uh, homodyne measurement or one-off measurement. So that is one thing to consider the quantum communication surpassing the classical communication. The other thing is that, so uh, in, uh, okay. In classical communication, uh, at least goes the signal into current state, but so in, in so, if we use some um, other signals such as the generalized current state or squeezed state, uh, then it would be useful for enhancing the uh, ability of the quantum communication, uh, ability of the practical communication. That is why the quantum things can be used for uh, beating the classical communication. Yeah, actually, I have a related question to this. Uh, you didn't discuss the security of these. <coughs> no, sorry. You, you did discuss the security of these quantum communication schemes. So one of the big, one of the reasons we're interested in quantum communication systems is some enhanced security of the, the classical schemes. So do you, do you have some similar properties in, in this scheme that you're talking about? Ah, okay. Thank you for uh, your good question. So in this, uh, okay. So in this communication, uh, I consider the communication based on the minimum error discrimination. So in the case that we consider the unambiguous discrimination, I think that it can also be related to the uh, security rate problem. That is because uh, I know that the unambiguous discrimination can be used for B9 protocol. That is why if I consider the unambiguous discrimination, then the Communication scheme can be used also used for um, okay uh, cyclic rate problem. So, but uh, I think if we use the unambiguous discrimination, the problem is that it can be only performed in the ideal quantum channel. That is because some noises makes the big state, and which uh, which means that um, which means that unambiguous discrimination cannot be performed in the experiment. So. Okay, that is all that I can tell you about the things about cyclically. Any final comments or questions? Okay then, that's fine.